Welcome back to Arcade Spirits. In the last episode, Juniper, Juniper came to visit me on my lunch break and accidentally revealed that uh, she had a better paying, more stable job that she had access to offering to me that when uh, she instead suggested I download a maybe privacy invading app. But you know what? I ended up very happy with the result here, and the result there sounded unpleasant to say the be the least. So I was chill about it. I I accepted her apology, and it didn't. It doesn't matter. I'm okay with this. Everything is fine. Quite literally, right? Right. What I need now is a distraction. And frozen pizza bagels are most certainly not it. My pocket money is really slim, but I think I need to step out for some fresh air and treat myself to a better lunch than that. And hey, maybe some company too. Nice and distracting, talking to someone about anything other than this. Let's see, who's available? Uh... Well... If Ashley's not on mascot duty, that's good, but if I take lunch break, she has to be running the floor. Uh... Let's go bother Queen Bee. It's awfully quiet near the Fist of Discomfort cabinet. I'm feeling rather alarmed here. This is normally peak time for Queen Bee to be streaming matches. What's she up to now? As I get closer, I see her behind the game, fiddling with one of her webcams, clearly soaked in frustration. Uh, everything okay, Queen Bee? No, everything is not being okay. She grumbles to herself and continues to meddle with the wires. Can, can I help with anything? <laughs> I don't know, can you figure out why a newly updated driver device just suddenly stops talking to the webcam it supposedly just improved? But it was flaking out on me before I bit the bullet and upgraded, so... Maybe it's hardware? A dead wire? Wait, I am not doing a voice for Queen Bee, I'm just doing my voice again. Uh, I don't remember what voice I did for Queen Bee. All right, we'll make something up. <clears throat> this is such a cord hell right now. Oh, sorry, I'm silicon literate, sure, but not exactly a techno mage. Listen, kid, unfortunately I don't have the time or the effort to deal with this blue right now. My main webcam isn't working, and I don't think it'll be working for the rest of the day. I can ask Naomi to take a peek at it later? She's the one who helped you rig this up in the first place, right? Uh-uh. Uh, can't wait that long. I've got matches to stream. I need it working now. Well, how about you take your mind off it for a while, then? I'm about to go on my lunch break. Care to join me? Queen Bee's whole demeanor relaxes a bit when I mention mealtime. She sighs heavily. <sighs> Fine. You're probably right, kid. Maybe not staring at wires for a bit will help clear my head. Maybe even help me sort the mess out myself afterwards. I want to go to Whole Story. Get me some sugar. Want to go to Whole Story with me? The bookstore? Do they have food there? Do they have food? <laughs> <laughs> you are too funny, kid. Of course they have bling food. Best coffee and donuts in the world. And I am bling famished. Let's go already. Before I can even lament about eating my pizza bagels I brought, Queen Bee is dragging me out of the arcade. I sigh reluctantly and give in. It's probably for the best anyway, after what I dealt with this morning. I deserve to give myself a little treat. And I probably won't even admit to myself, but I'm totally getting sick of those pizza bagels. Despite coming to this little strip mall for two weeks, I haven't actually visited our neighbors. Mostly I did whatever needed doing. Took orders from Gavin, lent a hand to Na Ashley and Naomi, things like that. Whatever the job happened to call for, no more, lo no less. 
I couldn't say I've been part of any community outside the immediate circle of my co-workers, whereas the others visited Whole Story frequently. Queen Bee leads the way into a shop that smells strangely of dusty old books and sugary sweetness. I don't think I'd ever been in a little independent bookstore. Or a bookstore at all, for that matter. It's 20XX! Who buys books in brick-and-mortar stores anymore? But, despite the subdued atmosphere compared to the arcade, there are customers present and accounted for. Sipping coffee, reading old tomes, and yes, munching donuts. Queen Bee secures a tiny table for us before directing me to the bar. Hang on, what the heck is up with this menu? It's organized by the Dewey Decimal System? I'll take a Frank Herbert. I'm paying. I just got my stipend from L7 Gaming yesterday, and I feel like celebrating. I mumble out a thanks, trying not to make a big deal of it. Cash is tight, and boutique cafe pastries wouldn't help my situation much. A pair of middle-aged guys waits to take my order. Hey, I'd like, uh... Uh... You know what? Surprise me. What's your favorite donut? Hey, what's good? What's your favorite order from the menu? One Terry Pratchett coming up. A jam pastry with clatchy and coffee. Cool. The second fellow puts together my order, and also drops a small paperback book onto the tray featuring a many-legged wooden travel trunk on the corner. Huh. A literally literary... A literally literary lunch. With alliteration, apparently. <laughs> Say, you work at the Funplex, don't you? Right. Yeah. We've seen you walk past our doors every morning and evening. Like clockwork, tick-tock. Right. Sorry, I should have introduced myself. Floor attendant Emmy Twinleaf, at your service. I'm your inside gal for tokens and tickets. Oh, we are lousy at video games. Totally lousy. But Francine's just a peach, isn't she? Sweetest dame you'll ever meet. Regardless, welcome to the whole story. I'm Ben. I'm Matt. No relation to the actors. Although they're cuties and so are we. Oh, stop. Stop being cute? Never. <laughs> Apparently, this sugar is available in forms other than round and holy. Anyway, don't let us stop you from having fun on your little date. Wouldn't dream of it. It's... it's not a date. Just friends, then? Friendly friends on a play date? I... Maybe the real date was the friends we made along the way. I... <laughs> I'd say the real friends were the friends we made along the way. I... This is a strange place, but I can't say I dislike it. What if the way was also the real friends who were the real friends we made along the way? Okay, now you're just being silly. And how? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Next order, please. The pair waves the next customer in as I return to Queen Bee's table with our orders on a nicely decorated wooden tray. Queen Bee is stuffing donuts down her gullet. I think she may be angry eating, but I'm not sure. Actually, I think this is the first time I've actually seen her eat anything. Normally she's way too focused on matches to take a snack break. So... Queen... B she holds up a finger to silence me. Finishes chewing and swallows. Ah, I feel so much better now. Hangry much? You know it. Sometimes I get so focused about everything I forget to eat. Okay, you know what? Mood. Eating is important. You should do it more regularly. 9 out of 10 living people say they prefer it to starving to death. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, what are you eating? Can I have some? She pokes at my choice in arguable nutrition. Hey, wait a sec. Poke her food back. Queen Bee still has a pastry left on her plate, too. All's fair in love and poking food wars. I lean over the table and begin prodding her meal. Hey, don't touch my biscuit. No, it's got all your germs on it. Ew. Can't take the heat? Don't start the fire. Huh. <laughs> Point taken. Queen Bee rolls her eyes and sticks out her tongue, jokingly. Eh, whatever. You win this round, kid. But next time, that donut will be mine. Besides, you sound like you need that more than me. Sugary treats are a good de-stressor. 
You haven't been acting like your, normally, your normal company drone self around the arcade floor today. Guessing the stress is mounting? What, and you're not stressed at all, huh? Well... Yeah, okay, I'll admit it. Things have been stressful with streaming lately. Oh? How so? Because with eSports streaming, everything has to be perfect all the goddamn time. It's not like you, where if you miss a stray gum wrapper or on the plexiglass isn't polished to a shine, Gavin will let it slide. Clearly you haven't worked for Gavin. Okay, Francine will let it slide. Look, I'm not a metaphor person. My point is, when you're a public figure, an eSports competitor, a streamer, an internet sensation, you gotta hustle. 100% hustle. 110% hustle. You only see folks like me and Teo from backstage. You aren't watching from the audience. Different situation entirely there. Oh yeah? There's no room for error. If one thing is wrong, I'll get punished for it, one way or another. If not by the chat, which constantly seeks my blood and salty tears, then by my own team. They're always evaluating my performance. Why? I mean, like, I, I guess I understand why, but like... Things go badly enough, my viewer count goes down, and I could lose my sponsorship. Then... Then everything. Dang. Dang indeed. You see what I mean? Take the world down in flames with you, I say. Queen Bee is really letting this dress get to her. I should find a way to pump up her spirits. Okay, so it's brutal. Sounds like life has been brutal in general lately. But there is one thing you told me long ago that I'm going to quote back to you. When the world blizzes on you, you take a bliz on the world. <laughs> That's my favorite catchphrase. Well done, kid. You're right. I'm not gonna let anything stand in my way. That's what I like to hear. But really, Queen Bee, that all makes sense. But you have to take time for yourself and relax. Easier said than done. I know streamers who take a week off, go on vacation or something, and their subs drop off the face of the earth. But I also know burnout's a serious thing. I do need to take breaks. And if I'm gonna relax, you should follow that same advice, kid. Huh? I saw your little interaction with your roomie this morning. Don't worry, I wasn't eavesdropping. I merely noted that you didn't look right after that. So, you remember to take time and relax. Reflect. Get your bleh together. While I'm on the topic of you, I'm thinking you should also find a hobby. What? Why? I see you working that floor every day. You just go through the motions and you look so bored all the time. I think if you had something else going on, you'd be much happier. Uh, thanks? Nope, no way. Hey, I'm not trying to be harsh. Trust me, I used to be like you long ago, but I found my ing passion. And now look at me. Rising star of L7. I know you got something worth fighting for inside you, too. Use it. Well, this has gotten a little awkward and a little too right on point for me to feel comfortable. Beep beep! Lunchtime is over. And Iris with the best distraction. Uh, time to go back to the arcade. I'll, uh, see you back there, Queen Bee. She waves me off. I still have this last donut to finish. I'll be back at the Funplex before you know it. She stuffs her face once more, and I gather my stuff and head back to the Funplex. That seems like as good a place to any to end the episode off, so bye-bye! <laughs>